Hey YouTube, how you guys doing tonight? Kevin here coming at you with another video. So what I did was I um, I switched out the fender already. Got that on there. It is the wrong fender. This is actually for the KD75. The uh, MT1 is a little bit more straightforward. It's more straight on the, uh, the end like that. And then it kind of comes up back like that. Um, but this one's just more curved. So this is the newer style of that. Not that big deal. Um, so I am going to look for the proper rear fender for it. And also too it's missing um, two of the little rubber pieces that go in here. I had one and uh, what do you call it there. So I put that on and I'm just, I'm just missing the top two. So I fixed the, the wiring on the bike. I got that all all squared away so now when I kick the bike over if it'll even start now so I got all that stuff is wired correctly um, we got that all done and this is pretty much it guys so I figured I'd do a, a short video on it and show you guys this is raw. Okay, this is a get on go, have some fun. Right now, I have a tank of two stroke premix in the tank. And of course, I have two stroke oil in there. And the reason why is because the oil pump was bad on this bike right here. They premixed it. And then it ended up causing um, the, the gentleman who owned it to premix it in the tank. And never hooked up the oil so I hooked up the oil I get that all done now I gotta drain out the tank so this is gonna be it for this bike right here for a little while I'm not gonna be doing any videos on that because we're working on the KE 102 build so part of that right there I wanted to show you guys I got some uh, I got something cool to show you guys I picked this right here up off of uh, marketplace right here I was getting rid of this right here, so I was able to pick this up. This is a sandblasting cabinet, which we're going to be using to do the toolbox, the battery box, and all that type of stuff. And then, of course, it's got the meteor in there, which is... i got to change that out. But there's the little sandblasting gun. It's got the gloves, the air filter, a light right there. It all works. Everything's good. So I can't wait to be doing some sandblasting. And, uh, and waiting for the parts to get back. So, that's where we were kind of at with that. And then, uh, now that this bike right here is all done, I'm actually going to winterize it, get it all winterized, even though we're in August. But I'm going to I'm gonna send this all back to uh, go hang out with its brothers and sisters, you know what I mean? So, that's where it's going to go for now um, with that. So, I've been doing some cleaning up in here. I picked up a cool shelving unit right there to throw some engines on and do some work on over there. Kind of opened up the uh, the shop quite a bit. And then I got um, back here. I moved my bike, my Virago, which is also all winterized back there. And then I got to get back on that later on. That's a winter project. Two generators to do. And, of course, we got to finish up on Dave's bike, which we're going to be doing that this week. And, um... I'm just waiting for some stuff to come in for that. I'm going to teach you guys a really cool way um, to test the air leaks. So that's going to be coming up. This is basically this video right here. Just kind of lets you know what's going on. Um, and you guys saw the the video I did on the KE-102 build. Now you guys are probably looking at this cool stand right here. This is actually a frame for a KD-80. And... Um, I cut this up to make a stand out of it. So I just kind of hacked everything off. And this right here is my engine stand. So when I'm working on a KE, a KD, KM and all that, I can stick it right onto that right there and um, basically just work on it without the engine all flopping around on me. So pretty cool. One of the another little tools that I make. I make a lot of tools, guys. And this is my KE bench right here. So we have another engine we're going to be doing right after this one. So wait for the parts to come in, and then we're going to be starting in on this beauty right here that was sent up from a subscriber. Um, this ain't going to take me long to do, so we're going to be busting this engine out next. This is on the chopping block for next. 
He's got a Barnett clutch system in there. Got the gaskets. We're going to go right through this whole thing, change some crank bearings. But before we do that, we're actually going to test or run it on the engine stand and see what she can do. And uh, so that's going to be coming up. So just kind of getting everything into, uh, into play. So organization. That's on the chopping block after that one. I'm just waiting for the parts to come back from the machine shop on that. And then we're good to go. RTG, ready to go. And then this right here, once again, I'm going to winterize this. Get this moved out of here so we have more more real estate to work in. You know what I mean? The more, more space, the better. So anyway, guys, short video. I just wanted to say hi. Say thank you guys for watching. I noticed I have a lot of new subscribers. And uh, share a little bit about what's going on. And a little bit of uh, MT1 update. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I will talk to you guys later. I'm out!